The tellers agree in their tallies that the total number of votes cast is 433, of which the Honorable Jim Jordan of the state of Ohio has received 199. The Honorable Hakeem Jeffries of the state of New York has received 212. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So the set of Fox News went absolutely completely and totally off the rails when they brought up the topic of Jim Jordan for speaker with a Republican rep who refused to vote for him. And not exactly sure what it was, you know, this guy thought would happen. You know, luckily, one of the few remaining people on Fox that actually have any redeeming qualities completely went after him. And before I get into that, guys, I want to thank everyone who's been subscribing, everyone who's been leaving such great comments. Really, really appreciate the support, guys. We're building a great community. If you haven't joined us yet, guys, help us continue to grow. Like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. So let me know in the comments if you guys are thinking just like me. But I'm really starting to question the motives and even the aptitude of a lot of these Republicans that are voting against Jim Jordan. And look, you know, not everyone gets their guy. Sometimes you got to make do with what you have. You know, do you think most of us were happy with McCarthy? No. Were we glad that the circus was over? We could actually get to some sort of work and things could get done on our behalf? Yes. But guys, what the hell are you doing? I mean, regardless of the motives, right? Whether you liked McCarthy, whether you hate Gates, none of that is important anymore because this mess is no longer the responsibility of Matt Gates or anyone else that voted against McCarthy. This mess is yours. Get it done. You guys look like morons, man. And the Democrats actually look strong. You've made Democrats look strong, even as their most anti-Semitic terror sympathizing members do and say the most ridiculous and racist things. <laughs> How is that even possible? What are you guys doing? You know, I, I honestly think Lawrence Jones here, he speaks for a lot of people. He speaks for me, at least. Take a look at this. Aisle. And, they, and I, like I said, they have no business serving in the House of Representatives. All right, Congressman, I um, want to get your comments on something else today. You're expected to have a, another speaker's vote today. Jim Jordan is apparently the only nominee. Um, it, it looks like you guys just can't get the job done. I saw some of your representatives and some of your colleagues upset at some of the calls that they're getting from voters. Um, wh what is it going to take for you guys to get your act together? Well, listen, voters obviously have the right to weigh in uh, with each of us and express their, their views, and I respect that. Uh, certainly in my district, I've received a, a lot of calls, uh, many in favor of, many against. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, the biggest challenge here, as I told Jim Jordan last Friday, uh, is if we can't get uh, consensus, if we can't get the conference together, the 20 people who throughout the course of the year have undermined the conference led by Matt Gates, uh, who voted to remove Speaker McCarthy, teaming up with 208 Democrats to do it. Uh, <laughs> if we can't get those folks in a room with folks like me in swing districts uh, and the folks that are now opposed to Jordan, we're never going to be able to but, build But you're consensus. one of the people and that are opposed. But, but, but we're respectfully, Congressman. The, the Gates thing is, is past us now. We have a new nominee that's on the floor, and the question is, why aren't you voting for him? Respectfully, it's not past us, and that, that's the challenge here. And what I've said to Jim McCarthy Jordan from is no the, longer nominee. What I've said to Jim Jordan from the very start is you have to get the right people in the room so that we can hash this I'm out. I'm asking about, the about you, forward. though, Congressman, not if the right we, people you. You're no, voting against them. With all due respect, you can, you can yell at me about it, but with all due respect, if we don't get everybody in the room to hash out the path forward, it doesn't matter who the speaker is, all right? We can elect a new speaker, but we still need 218 votes on the floor to pass our appropriations bills, mm -hmm. to deal with aid to Israel, to deal with the crisis in Ukraine, to deal with our border. If we can't compromise within the conference, forget about the Democrats, within the conference, we're not going to be able to govern. And that is the fundamental problem here. So when you had eight people team up with 208 Democrats to unceremoniously remove Kevin McCarthy without cause, and then they move to block Steve Scalise because they I wanted know. Jim Jordan, you create a problem Anger. within the conference. Yeah. And what I'm saying is if you want to fix it, right. as I told Jim Jordan last week, get everybody in the room that needs to be there and fix it. 
Yep. That's Cut. that's the only way forward. Uh, and we'll don't see, leave the yeah, room until it's fixed. Yeah, we'll see this. Right? By the way, way, we told Jim, stay in the room till you get two seventeen. Yep. Don't put it on the floor until you have it. Agreed. And he and he did. He went without it and we had less votes yesterday than it the first one. It was a gamble. Round. It was a gamble yep. and he lost. All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Congressman. So there you have it, man. I don't really know what to make of it. This guy actually sounds like a pretty thoughtful, pretty reasonable guy. But I have to agree with Lawrence Jones. I mean, this mess is his. You know, the guy talks about governing, and he's absolutely right. They can't. They cannot govern. And that's exactly what it looks like. You know, what does he think that this looks like to independents or to moderate Republicans? You know, it, it doesn't look good. And, you know, look, I personally, I prefer Jim Jordan. But come on, guys, there's over 200 Republicans to choose from. Obviously, most of them are terrible. But my point is, you got to get it done. You got to move on because the spending showdown is coming. And you guys need to stop screwing around and you need to get in the game. But anyway, that's just my take. Let me know your take in the comments, guys. And let me know who your pick would be for speaker. I'm, I'm a Jim Jordan guy, but I'm, I'm, I'd like to hear what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.